One time for one day and wouldn't you believe it, the cows are back in the yard. The cows are back in town. Millie. Let's see how many are over here and then we'll oh, shit. All my life, I seem to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, check that way. All right. And y'all stay out. Just another day on the farm. <laughs> Back for one day. Baby's over there. Got to drop off the rental, got to get to the airport. Fly off, got the trash. Chessboard, check. I turned, I turned everything off. You did? Okay. Yeah, lights. Oh, not that one. I just saw it. I, how would I have known? I just saw it. I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. The amount of countries that we are going to be seeing in the next few weeks is absurd. But in a good way. It's going to be fun. Pretty excited. And my baby's going to be killing it and smashing all these classes. Pull up more? Yeah. I'm so excited to share my energy with you guys again. I love my sixth and school family. Um, and I cannot wait to share my energy with you guys, dance with you guys, grow with you guys. So make sure you're there and book your tickets now. I love you. Can't wait to see you. We are here. We've made it to a... Uh, to a long adventure ahead of us, baby. Yes, three flights. Three flights till we get to North Africa. And a lot of uh, free drinks. Free drinks. Whiskey is our choice. We never do whiskey. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a. Uh, different whiskey. So I'm her security guard, her yes. confidant, yes. and the bestie, and her sweet lover. Yeah. I gotta take I'm care of her, her, make her sure her moods are good, and give her that sweet, sweet loving so she can have her amazing classes. Almost there. We made it. Oh yeah, fancy. Okay. You wanna know how short Jade Bug is? That's how short. She's five two. Welcome to my crib. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Damn, you doing it like this? I'm doing it like this. We're about to put that balcony to good use, girl. Yeah, we are. I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, and the view is good too. <laughs> yeah, we about to get lit in the shower. We have a bathtub. Can we take a bath? And we got a bathtub. Gorgeous. We beach. made it to Tunisia. So we spend 24 hours a day and then some together, but we never really have ever been able to travel together. Um, Costa Rica was the very first trip we've done, but we've never done like work trips together. So, um, it's all worked out for the better. I almost booked a big job, didn't end up happening, but if that would have happened, we wouldn't have been able to go to Coachella and I wouldn't have been able to come and visit all these places with her, so. And, uh, we're gonna book a different role. Yes. And, and I get my baby. Yes. So it's gonna be best of both worlds. And so here we have the chef's famous um, 
cheesecake a la raspberry. And to top it off, next to it, we have tiramisu, I love you, in a cup. I don't think it's a good idea for us to hang out again. And just my fucking luck, the fucking clipper started melting. How the fuck does this even happen? How? I've never seen anything like this before. Hair is all fucking... Didn't even get to finish. Look at this shit. What the fuck? Stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> well, this sucks. I'm staying in the hotel. I'm not able to go watch Jade perform or dance. Or do any of that shit. Because I look like a fucking bozo. Uh, I, I don't even, I'm fucking just annoyed. I don't think there's anything left to do. I guess um, in my luggage, the oil, little small bottle of oil that comes with the clippers in the little case, it must have opened somewhere within the travel. Because when I opened the box, it was oil all over the clippers. And, um, you know, then we plugged it in and it started smoking and then it just got progressively worse so bad that it just melted the front right off. I mean, like the whole hotel room smells. Even, even uh, room service came by asking if everything was okay because of the smell. Well, that sucks. Well, there was a uh, salon slash barbershop in the hotel and they didn't do, they didn't even do a good job. So, um, uh, at least it's not horrible <laughs> like it was before. Man, it was embarrassing though, uh, going downstairs and apparently I smelled like these bum ass wall clippers smelled like smoke and melted plastic. Couldn't understand what they were saying, but they was talking about my ass. Barbara really wasn't that good. And I, it was a language barrier. I wasn't able to explain to him how to do the fade or how to finish it. You know what, these things happen. I'm not gonna let it ruin my vacation. Today just wasn't my day. It's okay. Tomorrow and the rest of my life will be. Tunisia. Jade is kicking butt, doing class, teaching class, being great. I'm over here making some beats. Got a good little vibe going. Just ordered some more food. It looks like a Philly cheesesteak, but it's not because we're in Tunisia. So, you know, it's a steak in a, in a sandwich and it's got to be good. So Sometimes I talk so much, I don't even know what I'm saying. Yep. It's a vibe. Time to eat because I'm starving. Even the simple things in life, fries. Mmm, when you're hungry, anything tastes amazing. And apparently there's a dance party going on from the owners of the event. So it's gonna be awesome to meet some of you. So my baby's back. And can we just take a moment just to appreciate God's work of art? I mean, damn. This is what I come home to every, oh my God. Look at that. Oh, just. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Some of the dance dance coaches? Yeah. Yes. Get some food? Yeah, some food. Soft yes. maybe. Buy my mama birthday present. Hey,
Wow, have you seen anything like it? Literally carved out from a freaking tree, handmade into a chessboard. Even down to um, even down to the pieces. Comes with a little cupboard, little board. Um, we were already traveling with our little mini chessboard that opens. So you know what? Went in Tunisia. So best purchase of chessboards. Yes, I love it. So you're going down after you get this uh, loving. Tunisian queen. You look beautiful. Yes. They probably got stripped, but I Look, your worshipfulness. Let's get one thing straight. Mm, mm, mm. Perfect. It's perfect. They're out of the writer's room and onto the streets. Well, things just got weird. Over 11,000 members of the Writers Guild of America are off duty after they failed to reach a deal with studio representatives. I've been around a bit, you know, and I thought I'd seen some creepy things go on in the movie business, but I really have to say that this is the most disgusting thing that's ever happened to me. We all received emails and word from our representation, basically, that there was going to be um, a boycott and, and uh, a shutdown of auditions because of the Writers Guild. So uh, we're probably not going to be getting any auditions for a little while. Normally, I wouldn't put this in the vlog, but this is actually what we're living and going through right now. So it's been slow. Um, we've gotten very close on some very amazing projects. So we're just hungry for some more auditions. And then this happens. So we just got to wait it out, continue to sharpen our knives, work out, study, get better. So that way, once we get back to uh, back to work, we can just book something. I'm a girl by myself. Don't need no.